Welcome back to Northwest Vaping. I gotta apologize for not posting a review here the past couple weeks. I got lazy. It happens to everybody. I started enjoying my weekends, so I apologize for that. So I'm gonna kind of make up for it today. I gotta thank y'all for watching my reviews, for subscribing to my channel. I have seven different juice companies in front of me on my desk right now, including Mount Baker. So uh, just just to name them off here, I've got my Mount Baker juice. I have the standard. Uh, Pack Juice, Suicide Bunny, Suicide Bunny's new line called King's Crown, uh, the Mad Alchemist, and Fusion Vapor, and then I actually have a package coming from Steam Juice as well. So I gotta thank you all for, for watching my videos because without you guys, without your guys' support, I wouldn't be able to bring you the reviews on all these juices, so I do appreciate that. So I think I'm gonna do three juices today. I'm gonna do a juice from Mount Baker and I'll pick a couple more and we'll get into it. So with that being said, let's go. Alright guys, so the three juices that I'm doing today, I'm going to do Zebra Stripe Gum from Mount Baker, I'm going to do Franken Vape from the Standard, and let's do let's do one from Pack Juice here. Let's do you know let's do Skittles. I'm gonna do Skittles from Pack Juice. So the very first one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Zebra Stripe Gum from Mount Baker. Swap out my drip tips here. And actually, while I'm doing this, I'm going to give you Mount Baker's description here. You guys, re you remember this juice right here? You remember that? I used to love this stuff as a kid. So, alright. So, Zebra Stripe Gum. Enjoy the deliciously sweet and full, fl full fruity flavor of Zebra Stripe Gum. Vape on it all day and see that the traditional 5 second flavor loss is a thing of the past. Now, I don't know about you, but growing up, I used to love this stuff. I'd love the tattoos on the wrapper. You know, I'd stick them on my tongue, get the Zebra Stripes on my tongue, all over my hands. Drove my parents crazy. The one thing I hated about that gum is the flavor lasted five, ten minutes tops. And I don't know about y'all, but as soon as that flavor died off for me, I was spitting it out and throwing another piece in. So luckily, Mount Baker caught the flavor and put it into an e-juice because I used to adore that gum. So just like always, I'm going to let you know how it smells, let you know how it tastes, let you see the vapor. And this doesn't have a definitive smell to it. There's no, you know, lime or orange or berry or nothing like that. It reminds me of bazooka bubblegum is what it reminds me of. It's just got that generic kind of bubblegum smell to it. Flavor-wise, on the other hand, flavor is interesting. And I'll tell you why. First pull, kind of a lemon lime citrus kind of vape. But you vape on it more, let your coil heat up and stay warm. It's got almost a like a mixed berry flavor to it. And as it heats up more. kind of an orange back to the citrus notes to it kind of changes if you've ever had uh, I think it's chameleon from J vapes my buddy let me vape on here this past weekend it changes as your coil heats up stays warm it's an interesting vape now I do like this juice but I don't like it in the dripper I think okay let me take that back I don't like sub -oming with it. I've had this in a K fun with like a 1.2, 1.3 ohm coil that I put in it and it's fantastic. But I start sub ohming with this and I think the high heat just kind of kills the flavor or at least mutes it way 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 down. 
My wife loved this stuff in her iClear 30 with a 1.8 ohm coil in it, I think. Either 1.6, 1.8. She loved this stuff, adored it. I'm going to have to buy another bottle for it. But I think sub ohming with this juice is, it just doesn't do it justice. You don't get the flavor that, that you would think you would get sub ohming on a dripper. Do I recommend this juice? Absolutely. If you like fruity vapes, if you like complex flavors, this is a juice that you will enjoy vaping on. It is definitely an all-day vape. It's not too sweet. It's not something that hits you in the back of the mouth. It's not real potent. It's nice and refreshing. And this would probably be really, really good with a cooling additive. I don't think it would go very well with a menthol. I think the menthol would just kill it and drown out the flavor of the actual juice itself. But I think a cooling agent to it would be fantastic. flavors a little bit better with the added airflow too. So I would highly, highly recommend this juice if you like the fruitier vapes. Now, let me move on to let me go to Franken Vape here. Swap these out. Throw my Nimbus back on. And I've got two micro coils in here. This juice actually really surprised me. And I'll tell you why. The description of this juice, I, first, this juice came from a company, or from a website called Skyline Vapor. Now, Skyline is where I got a majority of this juice. The, the juice from Standard, uh, Suicide Bunny, King's Crown, The Mad Alchemist, and Pack Juice all came from Skyline. They sent me a big old box. Here's why this juice surprised me. The description is Kiwi and Marshmallow Bliss, the famous Frankenstein vape from the standard. This is one of the signature flavors right along Cell Block 4 for best e-juice in this lineup. When you get this juice and you smell it, it doesn't smell like Kiwi. It doesn't smell like Marshmallow. I'm actually going to... I can't really put my finger on what it smells like. But I love this juice. And I love the presentation. I like that nice little square bottle. It makes them stick out. Here's why this juice surprised me. It's nice and cool, nice and refreshing. It's it's a different type of vape. It's nice and smooth. You get kiwi on the exhale. Nice, refreshing, almost like drinking a like a strawberry kiwi snapple. You know, it, it almost there's there's no additives in this juice. It just gives you that nice refreshed feeling. And you get marshmallow. It's this subtle little undertone on the inhale. It's almost not there. It's like this delicate little sweetness that you can't quite put your finger on if you didn't know what the description was. But this is a fantastic juice. Uh, 30 mil bottle, $22 on Skyline's website. I think it's worth it. This juice is fantastic. If you're dripping, this bottle is going to last you forever. I mean, I've been dripping on this all weekend. It's it's Sunday evening, and I mean, I started dripping on this Saturday, early Saturday afternoon, and I've barely even broken into this bottle. I mean, it's a nice, thick, rich juice. I don't have to sit here and chain vape on it. I take two or three, maybe four pulls, and I'm good. It just seeps into cotton and it stays there. I can get seven or eight good hits off of five or six drops, and it is just a fantastic juice. Definitely designed with dripping in mind. So that is the standard. That is Frank and Vape from the standard. Highly, highly recommend. That is a great juice. 
So I'm going to swap out drippers here again real quick. And then I'll get into Skittles. Alright guys, so this, this is Skittles from Pack Juice. Now Pack Juice is short for Wolfpack. It's another brand that Skyline has on their website. And let me get to the description here. I thought I had it pulled up. Skittles. The sweet, chewy candy flavor, a fan favorite. Simple description, simple juice. When I opened up my box from Skyline, started looking through all the juices that they gave me. I was shocked and excited when I saw this bottle of Skittles. It's interesting. If you smell it, it doesn't smell like much. And I've noticed that with a lot of the bottles of pack juice. I've got two, four, six, eight, nine. I've got nine bottles of pack juice. Not a lot of them smell like the flavor of the juice. Flavor, on the other hand, flavor is outrageous. This juice tastes exactly like Skittles. It tastes like, if you were to take a handful of Skittles, you know, one of every color, and just chuck it in your mouth and start chewing, that is exactly what it tastes like. You get that tart, almost sour, rounded flavor that I was not expecting from a candy e-juice. You know, a lot of a lot of candy juices that I've tried, they try to compensate and make up for the flavor by making it super, super sweet. This juice isn't like that. And I've tried three of the pack juices and I've noticed that about all of them. They don't overcompensate one thing over the other. There's no, you know, overly sweet or way too much flavor for what the juice is. This is just a really good, really solid, very, very well-made juice. And I'm probably going to end up putting this in my k when it gets here. So I'm super, super stoked about that. Um, I know you guys are probably getting a little bit bored just watching juice reviews. I've got some new hardware coming in the mail. Um, I think I'm going to throw in some hardware reviews with this for you guys so you guys know what I'm working with here, what I like. So those are the three juices for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I appreciate you guys watching. I wouldn't have all this juice if it wasn't for y'all. So if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button down below. Comments are always appreciated, whether they're good or bad. I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys had a great 4th of July. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. Don't drip and drive, and keep on vaping on.